Step 5. Relationships. Intentionally surround yourself. Social isolation during the pandemic spiked loneliness as it decreased our opportunity to meet people and spur random conversations. We find our social circles closing up and our outlet to newness decreasing. There is no waiting in line for coffee or bathroom conversations. There is no passing by your office conversations. Even in weekly team meetings, casual hellos before the meeting feel weird as you can't have more than one conversation in a group without talking over one another. So we've started talking less. This exacerbates the loneliness epidemic that existed before the pandemic. Is it possible to build new and strengthen existing meaningful relationships while social distancing? Physical distance does not mean we need a socially distant. Now more than ever, we need each other and to connect more deeply. Research like the 80-year-old Harvard Grant study The world's longest study of human behavior proves that what makes people happy and healthy is the love we share with our close relationships, not money or fame. So, why are we not investing more time and effort to strengthen relationships? The key is how you choose to intentionally spend your time and con- and engage in connecting. As Quote, how are you? Quote, changed from small talk to emotional check-in. More people are willing to talk about feelings. Be vulnerable and even open up to strangers as we share our struggles and wins together. We're also more reachable since we are online at home instead of traveling or sitting in meetings. Yet, the key is how you intentionally spend time and with whom you spend it are you surrounding yourself with optimistic and curious minded individuals or are you spending more time with people who are complaining how are you making time to connect with new people as well as connect with close friends it's up to us to make deep connection moments into lasting meaningful relationships a meaningful relationship is a two-way street of give and take you have to be grounded and willing to be vulnerable to build that kind of relationship if you want change change how you spend your day actively declutter your surroundings to make time for close friends and new friends in your life look at your social media feed inbox and calendar who are you spending most time with and how is that making you feel we are the average of the five people we spend most time with if we want more creativity and happiness We need to intentionally show up to online places that ignite us. Who helps bring out the best version of yourself and challenges you to open up? How are you supporting others? Every action you take is your choice. You can proactively choose where and how to spend your time and energy in order to build more enriching relationships. This is why I loved welcoming 100 plus innovators from 30 plus countries at our online innovators meetup via Innovators Box. We shared our fears, hopes, and reflections. It grounded us to know how we can do so much more by intentionally connecting together. Time is always given equally, but we always decide how to use it.
Choose to invest wisely. Join us at our upcoming events and stay engaged by joining our Innovators membership. Learn more about upcoming events here and the membership here.